Bienvenidos a nuestro último día en Ferrocarril Rocoso, donde hemos aprendido mucho acerca del poder de Jesús y cómo nos ayuda a salir adelante a pesar de los altibajos de la vida. ¿Por qué no me acompañan con esta canción? Viajar en tren era la forma más rápida para cruzar de un lugar a otro. Las personas que querían viajar por América del Norte tenían que tomar un tren, pero ese tren no podía cruzar todos los Estados Unidos. Había otro tren diferente que cruzaba otra parte de Estados Unidos. Hasta que un día aconteció algo muy importante. Las vías del tren hicieron conexión. Las dos vías hicieron conexión y esto fue un acontecimiento muy importante, tan importante que pusieron una espiga de oro al final de las vías. Así sellarían este pacto. Esta semana también estamos aprendiendo cómo podemos hacer conexión con Jesús y amigos. Vamos a escuchar esta canción. En todo lo que hace Promesas cumple No sé por qué Si sí, es verdad La palabra de Dios En Él confiamos En Él confiamos Si sí, es verdad La palabra de Dios En Él confiamos 
Confiamos, en el confiamos. Sí. Oh, yeah. Si hay algo en que confiamos, es que Dios nunca nos ha dejado. Confiamos en todo lo que hace. Promesas cumple, no sé por qué. A lo largo de estas semanas hemos estado conociendo a nuestros Bible Memory Buddies. ¿Cuál fue tu favorito? ¿Por qué no lo recordamos todos? En la semana número uno conocimos a Ramsey. Ramsey nos recordó que el poder de Jesús nos ayuda a hacer cosas difíciles. Confía en Jesús. En el día número dos conocimos a Abba el pájaro. Abba nos ayudó a recordar Cómo el poder de Jesús nos da esperanza. Confía en Jesús. En la semana número 3, conocimos a Sierra, el león. Sierra nos ayudó a recordar que el poder de Jesús nos ayuda a ser audaces. Confía en Jesús. En la semana número 4, estuvimos conociendo a Fin, el pez. ¿Lo recuerdan? Fin nos estuvo ayudando a recordar que el poder de Jesús nos ayuda a vivir para siempre. Confía en Jesús. Y en esta última semana también les traigo a alguien muy especial. Él es Lawrence. Él nos va a ayudar a recordar que el poder de Jesús nos ayuda a ser buenos amigos. Confía en Jesús. ¿Por qué no vemos este video para conocer un poquito más acerca de él? Escuché que todos iban a todo vapor en el último día de ferrocarril rocoso. Me da gusto que estén aquí. Yo soy Lawrence Elk. No soy como este alce ni un carnero. Soy un alce guapití. Los alces machos son llamados toros. Yo y mis amigos toros nos gusta pasar el tiempo hasta arriba de las montañas rocosas. En el invierno bajamos a lugares donde podemos encontrar pasto. Pero en la primavera y verano nos dirigimos a las colinas. Es importante que permanezcamos juntos con la manada. Algunas manadas son tan grandes de hasta 400 amigos. Aunque mis cuernos son grandes y fuertes, los alce hembras o los bebés no tienen cuernos. Pero un oso hambriento es difícil de combatir. Hablando de estos cuernos asombrosos, déjenme decirles que son realmente increíbles. A veces son muy prácticos cuando otras manadas se acercan mucho a la mía. O cuando tengo que mostrarle a otro toro que yo soy quien mando. Sí, a veces nos damos topes incluso en nuestra manada feliz. Pero trato de no atarme mucho. Literalmente, se me caen cada año y me vuelven a salir unas nuevas. ¡Qué genial es eso! Dios también me dio un poder sin igual para comunicarme con mi manada. <coughs> Suena como una corneta. Es un poco como rugir y silbar al mismo tiempo. Mantiene a mi manada junta, donde podemos estar a salvo. Mi manada incluso tiene exploradores. Algunos alces se quedan vigilando, mientras otros pastan. Debemos cuidarnos unos a otros. ¿Tienes amigos que te cuidan? ¿Amigos que llamas cuando estás triste o chistoso? ¿Cuando estás alegre o lastimado? 
o a veces te das topes con tus amigos. Tal vez necesitas el poder para perdonar y amar a un amigo cuando no se llevan bien. No tienes que hacerlo solo. Jesús te da su poder para ayudarte a ser un buen amigo. Jesús te da este mandamiento poderoso en la Biblia. Ámense unos a otros de la misma manera que yo los he amado. Si te das topes con tus amigos y no se llevan bien, tú puedes confiar en el poder de Jesús y seguir su palabra. El poder de Jesús nos ayuda a ser buenos amigos. ¡Confía en Jesús! Quiero tomar un momento muy especial e importante para agradecerle a nuestras líderes de tropa que semana tras semana nos estuvieron divirtiendo y nos estuvieron enseñando mucho acerca del poder de Jesús. En especial a Emma, Noemí, Lisbeth, Angie, Amy, muchas gracias por tomar este viaje con nosotros. A continuación los dejo con los siguientes videos y nos vemos más tarde aquí en Cierre Rocoso. Hi guys, Emma here. Welcome back to Kid Vid Cinema. Before we jump in, I want to remind all of you about God sightings. If you guys have an object at home that means something to you or something that you see a lot, I want you guys to use that as a way to remind you to look for God sightings. Now these are aspects and areas of our lives in which we can look around and see that God is working and that He is present. For me, I know that I spend a lot of time in worship and I love to worship and that's a way in which I can see God working in me and working in the people around me. So if that's a way that you can use to see God, I encourage you guys to jump into that. Now, I can't believe that it's our last KidVid Cinema Day. Honestly, you guys, I've had so much fun getting to be here with you all. I know it's been a little bit different this year, but I've still loved getting to interact with you guys and hang out with all of you. Today, we're gonna get to meet one more friend and watch one more video. So I encourage you all to get ready and let's jump in together. Hi, I'm Renee and I'm 10 years old. Hi, I'm Melina and I'm 11 years old. Renee and Alina are great friends, and they live in the beautiful desert of Southern Arizona. They love to hang out and be silly together. Their friendship has grown after they both joined an arts ministry at their church. Um, en sus manos en, is a creative art ministry. We do puppets, we do shows, we do skits, and stuff like that. En sus manos is Spanish for in his hands. It's an art ministry that uses performance to share the love of God. There is dancing, acting, and music. My favorite thing about performing is probably looking, like, um, at the end looking at, like, all the kids all smiling and laughing and liking it. Sometimes performances are serious, and sometimes they're fun and silly. Regardless of being silly or not, one thing is true. Being a part of Ensus Manos has brought the entire team closer together. This puppet ministry helped us become better friends. And it's not just like me and her. Like other people? A lot more. Basically the whole group. Our group, like before, like we were all friends, like we were chill, but now we're like, we're like really, really good friends. And like we're always hanging out. We're always like laughing, making jokes. Jesus has used the ministry to bring the team together. This team of friends help each other to do the best they can to share God's love. My friends, like they help me not be nervous because like they were doing, they were doing it too and they were nervous, but at the same time they, they supported us. I was with my friends and I knew a lot of people in, from church. So was it that, that scary anymore? Serving Jesus together has helped Lena and Renee become great friends, but they both know who the best friend is, Jesus. He, he's like one of our like 
bestest friends ever. He is. <laughs> yeah. Renee and Alina know that Jesus' power helps us be good friends. Jesus helps me make friends. Um, like God knows that I'm doing like this whole ministry for Him. And so it just helped me like become better friends with people. So He helped me like be friends with a lot of people, but still like worship Him and praise Him. In the Bible, in the book of John chapter 15, verse 12, it says, love each other in the same way I have loved you. Jesus loved us all equally, so we should love everybody because as he says in the Bible, we're all brothers and sisters and love your enemies. Jesus' power helps us be good friends. What an amazing video, you guys. I think friendship is so important, and I think that God can use the people around us to build certain friendships. I want you guys to think about what you think makes a good friendship. For me, I would really like a good friend to be dependable, and I would like them to be compassionate. This means that they'll be there for me and show up for me, and that they'll also be kind and understanding. However, even though we can have a lot of friends in our lives and people that we do love to spend time with and think can contribute a lot to our lives, sometimes there are friendships we have that don't work out as we might want them to. For me, when I was in elementary school, I actually got bullied pretty badly. And there were these kids that I really wanted to be friends with, but they really didn't want to be friends with me. And they wouldn't be very nice to me and they'd say super mean things. And that was kind of hurtful. But here's the thing. I really do believe that God brings certain people into our lives for certain reasons and keeps other people out of our lives for certain reasons. And that's because God is always working. And more than that, He's always working for our good. So when a friendship doesn't work out, that doesn't mean that we need to be super sad about it because trust me, God is always working for your good and there's a purpose to every friendship that we have. This is why I'm so grateful that Jesus helps us to be good friends. Today's Bible verse is John 15, 12, and it says this, my command is this, love each other as I have loved you. I love that Bible verse because Jesus gives us super awesome advice on exactly how we're supposed to be friends. Jesus tells us to love each other in the same way that he has loved us. So let's take a minute and let's think back about the last couple of weeks we've spent together and the ways in which we've learned that Jesus loves us. On the first day of KidVid Cinema, we met Dominic. Dominic loves karate, even though it's something that can be hard sometimes. Watching Dominic, we learned that the power of Jesus helps us to do hard things. Helping us do hard things is one way that Jesus shows us that he loves us. So, I guess that means we could be a good friend by helping someone that we know do a hard thing. Maybe they don't think that they're able to do a certain task or they're nervous about it. And we can be a good friend by showing them and supporting them and saying, I believe in you and I know that you can do this because the power of Jesus helps us to do these hard things. After Dominic, we met Annalise and she used her music to give her sick grandmother hope. From Annalise, we learned that Jesus's power gives us hope. He shows just how much he loves us by giving us hope. If we want to love others as Jesus loves us, one way we can do that is by giving someone hope. In this video, you could see that there are certain talents and skills that each and every one of us has, and we can use those to uplift the people around us and give them hope even if they don't have it. So how you could use this in terms of being friends, maybe you could make a card for a friend who's sick, or maybe you could tell someone that you're praying for them or pray with them. In the next video, we met Annalise and then Lauren. 
and she volunteered at her local community food center. She helped us remember that Jesus' power helps us to be bold. Now we talked about how sometimes if we're going out and doing things that are a little out of our comfort zone, it can make us feel a bit nervous. But it's amazing because the power of Jesus helps us to be bold. And so knowing that, we can step out and do things in faith because Jesus gives us that power. And then today, we learned how Renee and Alina helped each other not be nervous before a performance. I know that sometimes before I go up on stage, I get a little bit nervous and it's so amazing to have friends who will be there for me and help me not get as nervous. And then yesterday we met Isaac, who knows that he'll see his brother Joel in heaven someday. Isaac's story helps us to remember that Jesus' power helps us live forever, which is such an incredible blessing. I don't know about you guys, but I think that everyone needs to know about Jesus and his incredible love for us. I mean, look at all of the ways in which Jesus is loving you. He's giving you hope, he's giving you eternal life, he's giving you comfort, and he's inspiring you to be bold so you can show others just how good he is. So I want you guys to think for a minute. And this week, I want you to think about one way in which you can tell someone about Jesus and show them his love. So today, as we finish up with our final closing prayer of KidVid Cinema, I want you guys to gather anybody that's around you, and I want you to encourage them to come and pray with you. So why don't you guys take a minute and get those people, and then we'll pray together. Dear Lord, thank you so much for all that you do. Thank you for the incredible ways in which you love us because there are more ways that you love us that we can even begin to count. You inspire us to be bold. You inspire us to show others your love. You inspire us to give hope to others, God. And most importantly, you show us just how we can love the people around us. You are so good to us, God, and it's so incredible because in you, we have eternal life. We love you, Lord, forever and always. In your name we pray, amen. Thank you so much, you guys. I really love getting to be here with you and talk about the love of God with each and every one of you. You are all incredible, and I'm just so thankful to have gotten to spend this time with you guys. Thanks, guys. We'll see you around. Welcome to Imagination Station. Bienvenidos a la estación de imaginación. No puedo creer que es nuestro último día juntos, así que hay que disfrutarlo a lo máximo. ¿Trajiste tu imaginación? ¿La tienes lista? Do you have your imagination? Is it ready? If not, knock, knock, knock. Come on, imagination, come on out. So make sure you have your imagination ready. Prepárate con tu imaginación para el Imagination Station de hoy. Antes de entrar a nuestra actividad de hoy, ¿se acuerdan de Lawrence the Elk? Lawrence the Elk, si no sabían, pesa 730 libras, 730 pounds. Wow, that's a lot of weight. That's probably more than you and your whole family combined. Entonces, le tengo la pregunta de hoy sobre Lawrence the Elk, sobre todos los Elks. ¿Ustedes piensan que los Elk tienen dos dedos en cada pie o tienen cuatro dedos en cada pie? Les voy a dar un minuto para que la respondan y platiquen con sus amiguitos o sus, o sus hermanos que tengan alrededor y luego rezamos y les doy la respuesta.
Bueno, la respuesta es que the elk have four toes on each leg. Imagine that. Los elk tienen cuatro dedos en cada pierna. ¿Pueden creer eso? Ahora, les voy a dar las cosas que van a ocupar para Imagination Station de hoy. I'm going to give you a list of the things that you're going to need for the Imagination Station of today. Así que apúntenlo, pongan atención y después van a tener tiempo para tener todos sus materiales y entraremos a la Imagination Station, al craft de hoy. All right, see you soon. Okay, so the materials you're going to need is very simple. A piece of paper and some markers. Super easy, super simple. Today's craft is going to be very easy to do. So go ahead and get your materials. See you back here in three minutes. Alright, so the first thing you're going to need to do is just draw a cross and fill it in. After you draw the cross, make sure to draw some hearts all over the cross. Don't fill these in yet. We're going to fill them in with something else later. Now that you've drawn some hearts, write the names of all your loved friends. It can be friends that are your siblings or friends that are not your siblings. It can even be your parents. If you consider them a friend, write down their name. Now, here is the important part. You're going to put up this paper somewhere around your house. And every time you see it, remember to pray for your friends. If you really love your friends, one of the best things you can do is pray over them. God listens and make sure to speak their names one by one. Bueno, espero que se divintieron con ese craft de hoy. Ahora les quiero recordar sobre el mensaje que estábamos hablando hoy, que el poder de Cristo nos ayuda a ser buenos amigos. 
The power of Jesus helps us be good friends. And I think that friends, yo pienso que los amigos son como las plantas. No nomás puedes tener una planta y dejarlo ahí. Tenemos que amarlo, tenemos que tratarlo bien, tenemos que echar la agüita, ponerlo en el sol para que crezca nuestra amistad con las personas que tenemos. Es la misma manera que Dios nos manda amar a las personas alrededor de nosotros para ser buenos amigos. El versículo de hoy es John 15, 12. And it says, Love each other in the same way I have loved you. Así que ya sé que ahorita estamos en cuarentena, pero aprovecha a ser buenos amigos, no nomás con gente que no conozcas, pero también con la gente que está en tu casa. Me, asegúrate de amarlos, de ser paciente con ellos y de darles amor que como las plantitas ocupan, también las personas alrededor de nosotros ocupan. Sé como Jesús, ama a las personas y sé un buen amigo. The power of Jesus helps us be good friends. El poder de Cristo nos ayuda a ser buenos amigos. Bye! I'll miss you guys and I hope you stay safe. Dios del cielo y tierra, eres glorioso, tu brazo me sostendrá, la fe me das y yo pondré mi esperanza en ti, solo en ti. Dios del cielo y tierra, eres glorioso, tu brazo me sostendrá, la fe me das y yo pondré en ti, solo en ti Pondré mi esperanza en ti Señor Eres todo lo que necesito Mi esperanza está en ti Hey guys, welcome to VBS Day 5. Today's lesson is going to be called, Jesus' Power Helps Us Be Good Friends. And the verse that we're talking about is John 15, 12. And this verse tells us, Love each other in the same way I have loved you. Now, this is Jesus telling his disciples, and essentially everybody else, that we must love everyone in the same way that Jesus has loved us. Now, when we think about it, we know that Jesus loved us so, so much that he was obedient to God the Father and died on that cross for our sins. Now, that is such amazing love because Jesus did not deserve to die on the cross, but since he loves us so much, he was willing to be so obedient to God and do that um, for you and I. And so, in this verse, we see love each other in the same way I have loved you. So we should try to love each other the same way that Jesus loves us. Now, in this um, lesson, we're going to be talking about the first Christians. So we know that when Jesus ascended into heaven, he uh, be right before he left, 
he told his disciples the Great Commission and he tells his disciples, hey guys, I want you guys to make more disciples. I want them to teach, I want you to teach them and uh, baptizing them, baptize them in the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Now, this was like what Jesus told them to do and then Jesus ascended into heaven. So now we're going to be looking at uh, the disciples and their friends and the first few believers, right? And so this is, uh, I'm going to be reading a little passage from Acts. Um, Acts uh, chapter 2, verses 42 through 47. And it says, They devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching and to fellowship, to the breaking of bread and to prayer. Everyone was filled with awe at the wonders and signs performed by the apostles. All the believers were together and had everything in common. They sold property and possessions to give to anyone who had need. Every day they continued to meet together in the temple courts. They broke bread in their homes and ate together with glad and sincere hearts, praising God and enjoying the favor of all the people. And the Lord added to their number daily those who were being saved. Now, right here we have... Uh, we see those the, the things that those believers, those first new believers are doing. We see that they're eating together, that they're praising Jesus, that they're hanging out, and that they have everything in common. And that's because they're all a body that believes in Jesus, that they believe the gospel. And this is so awesome. And what we see here, for example, we, we see kind of like a circle, like a little click. Uh, we know that Peter and John were disciples of the Lord, and they were working towards fulfilling this great commission of, uh, getting disciples and teaching them and baptizing them, right? And the thing was that it, they were kind of like a circle, but they weren't just the clique that didn't let anybody in. These people, these group of people wanted people to know about Jesus. They wanted them to know about the gospel. And it's super cool because we see the effect of the disciples being obedient to God, right? Uh, Jesus tells them, hey, tell others about me. Tell, spread the good news. And what ended up happening was that these people, first we have the disciples, and the disciples tell their friends, and then their friends tell other people, and then those people tell other people. And then look at where we are now. So many people told so many people that they were finally, um, they found out about the news, about the, the gospel, and we have it today, right? And this happened a long time ago. So we see how spreading the gospel is so uh, effective, is so needed, because look at where we are now right now we're in 2020 and we're still speaking about these first uh disciples and we're still speaking about jesus in the greatness and we know that this is alive and that one day jesus is going to come back for his people right now what this tells us is that our friendships matter we see how these disciples were gathering together they were um they were praising god they were uh hanging out and they were doing everything that the verses 42 through 47 tells us they were gathering in homes and they were listening to the teachings of the apostles right and so this is so awesome because we see how these friendships made uh made through christ are so evident they show us that jesus uh that jesus love is real they show us that Jesus' power helps us be good friends to one another. And we see that because some of these people, they were willing to sell their possessions, things that they own, in order to give back to the poor. And that just shows us that Jesus' love was so real and is still so real that they were they had no problem selling, for example, what if, you know, they had extra bread or extra who knows what they had, tunics or something like that? And they were willing to sell that in order to get that money and to give back to the poor. And that's so loving. And that just shows us and reminds us of um, the power that Jesus' power helps us be good friends and helps us be loving people to one another. Now, it's really important for us to stay connected with other friends of Jesus. And this is really important because we need people to rely on to help us point us back to Christ when possibly we are weak or when we are hurting and uh, since we know that the power of Jesus helps us love uh, love people well we need that we need those friends who can love us well and who can uh, be there for us but in the same way that love is so alive and so filling that we also will become alive because it's Jesus love right now um, I want you guys to remember to stay connected to your friends right now 
it's possibly a little bit hard to stay connected but ask your mom and dad if you can see somebody via uh, Skype or FaceTime them or something like that and just talk to your friends from church right and don't worry guys uh, in the future we will be back together and you guys will be able to see your friends again and so that's something to hang tight right um, so uh, let's review a few of the things that we have learned throughout our time uh, here so number one is Jesus power helps us do hard things so remember when life gets difficult when we have to make difficult choices we know that the power of Jesus will be able to help us overcome and do the difficult things that we need to uh, number two Jesus's power gives us hope we live in this world full of sin and sometimes it's so hard to be content or to even just find joy but remember that Jesus's power gives us hope and that one day we will be reunited with our Heavenly Father in heaven in a place where there will be no tears and no sadness and most importantly there will be no sin uh, number three Jesus power helps us be bold remember when we look at the disciples um, Peter and John how they were so bold in preaching the gospel even though they might get persecuted well, Jesus' power helps us be bold when we have to, you know, do things that possibly might intimidate us, right? Anything for His glory, Jesus' power helps us be bold. Number four, Jesus' power lets us live forever. Remember that because of the cross, because of Jesus going on that cross and being sacrificed and then resurrecting, we are able to be saved. We are able to not be separated from God. And that's something so awesome and so worth sharing with one another. And lastly, Jesus' power helps us be good friends. Remember that the same way that Jesus loved us is the same way that we are called to love one another. And through that, we show others that Jesus is alive and that essentially we are good friends because Jesus' power helps us be good friends. Uh, guys, I hope that you guys really learned something throughout these weeks. And if you have um, any questions, we would love to hear back from you guys. And we're here to serve you guys and know that you guys are loved. And Bienvenidos a Cierre Rocoso Final. Aquí vamos a celebrar el poder de Jesús y por qué no lo hacemos con esta canción. Frente a 
cuatro. Cuatro más, pero ahora hacia atrás. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. Ahora para. Y todos aplaudiendo así. Detente. Hoy aprendimos que el poder de Jesús nos ayuda a ser buenos amigos. Confía en Jesús. Jesús es un ejemplo de un verdadero amigo, porque Jesús comparte su poder con nosotros para ser audaces en la vida. Cuando conocemos a un amigo, podemos decir que hacemos conexión. Imaginemos que este dedo eres tú y este dedo es tu amigo. Es muy divertido conocer amigos nuevos, ¿verdad? Pero no siempre todo marcha bien en las amistades. A veces tú dices cosas o la otra persona dice cosas que lastiman la amistad. Por ejemplo, tal vez dices una mentira, tu amigo dice una mentira, toma algo tuyo sin que te des cuenta y eso lastima mucho la amistad. Pero hoy Jesús nos ayuda a recordar que su poder nos ayuda a ser buenos amigos. Ha sido una verdadera aventura viajar con ustedes en las vías de ferrocarril rocoso. Gracias por todo su tiempo y por estar con nosotros conectados semana tras semana. No puedo esperar para el próximo año una nueva aventura con ustedes. Espero ustedes también se hayan divertido mucho con nosotros y aprendido mucho acerca del poder de Jesús. Y no olviden que el poder de Jesús nos ayuda a ser buenos amigos. Confía en Jesús. Nos vemos hasta el próximo año.